What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a brand new retail and resale price estimations video and we are talking about Supreme Week 11 Spring Summer 2020. Full drop list confirmed. We got estimated retails. We got estimated resale price predictions. So you guys know exactly what to go for this week. Because although, although this week started out very, very glim. Looked like it was going to be a booty hole week. It ended up giving us a nice little surprise of the Supreme BMX Cruiser bike. Oh, they just actually just dropped. Supreme just dropped a video on Instagram. The guys hopped up, hop scotched up onto a police van and just hop scotched right off. If you guys are interested for that video, make sure you check out their Instagram for that. No promotion, nothing, but like it was a fire video nonetheless, even though it was only five seconds long. But yeah, that's dropping this week. We have confirmed retails for that. We also have how many they're releasing. Is it FNF or not? Will it be releasing online? TBA. We will get through that as well. Uh, before I start, I'll let you guys know, since we are talking about resale price predictions here, uh, we're going to talk about the biggest platform, StockX, CockX, whatever you want to call it, is out there. And I like to say, though, I'm happy to see a lot of people moving towards eBay and Grail and Instagram. I've seen a gradual, gradual movement. I know my group, premium group, Time Boy TV Plus, if you guys want to check it out, you guys are more than welcome to on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, we've been focusing a lot of like also non sneaker flips because of the quarantine season, like it just opened up a whole new marketplace to resell. Uh, but at the end of the day, also eBay has also 0% fees on sneakers above $100, if I'm not mistaken. And it does help a lot, especially with eBay ViewBot. But FYI, if you guys have access to an eBay ViewBot and you use it, be careful with it because they can oftentimes sh shadow ban your listing if you generate too many views because they know some fishy business is going on back there and it's not you can't be generating like 3,000 views in 30 minutes doesn't make any sense uh and without further ado i also want to say uh let's just roll right into it Oh, and by the way, if you guys are interested in joining the free group, once again, all you got to do is send me a screenshot of you subscribe to the channel right down here to Tommy Boy TV Plus, Instagram only, Instagram only, please, 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 only Instagram. Uh, we do have one of my favorite accessories dropping this week as well, not just the bike, but also the other piece. But as I said, we're going to go from least hype to most hyped and least resale to most resale. So first up, we got the Stars Zip Up Sweater Polo, looking very basic. There's three different colorways. You'll only see the blue colorway up here, but they also have a mustard and a black and white one looks like some grandpa looking item uh some fashionable low-key piece it looks like a piece that would do well in europe it looks like a very european stylish piece not really you don't see too many button-up polos like this with the collar uh draw uh, people rocking in the united states like that but estimated retail on this one is just about 148 us dollars reason being it's a long sleeve piece it has a color on it it's also not oh it is a zip up so all that stuff adds value to it at the end of the day uh then we move on to the silk short sleeve work shirt dropping in five different colorways we got a nice little lavender on all white a salmon an, a green screen yo if i wore that with a green screen i'd be invisible that's funny as hell and then an all black one as well it's silk material so you know the quality is up there which means the resale retail price is going to be up there as well at around 128 us dollars uh you might say that's a lot for a button-up short sleeve shirt but in reality that's how much they typically charge if not a little bit more actually so it could be about a ten dollar difference officially once the real retails do come out on release day uh, no resale on any of these two pieces either. Then we go on to the Liberty Floral Belted Pant, uh, dropping in three different colorways, and we got a nice little orange, a little, I don't, I wish I knew my colors. It looks like we got, like, the same print, just different colors, different effects placed onto it. We got a nice little yellow one, a uh, orangish red one, and then a black and white one as well. Uh, these pants, just not it. Like, this pant, this design is like, what are you doing? It's like an all-over print flower. There, there's good all over print pants that Supreme does drop, but this is just a complete miss. They're always a hit or miss. You can't ever be like in the middle. I think these pants are a complete miss. Uh, they might end up being a little bit limited, so they could see some resale. Just how I told y'all, the Chino pants that dropped last week with the bandana design print, those are doing what, like 250, 270 right now. I'm not selling mine until it's, I reach 500. I put up an ask. If you saw my Instagram, Thomas Severco, make sure you check it out. I posted about how uh, I had an ask at 500, and I'm not, I'm not lowering it. No matter who undercuts me, I could care less. Um, but yeah, I don't see much resale on these. Uh, $158 retail is expected. Uh, then we go to the two long sleeve tops that were expected to drop uh, two weeks before, if I'm not mistaken. We do have the dog raglan long sleeve top as well as the hourglass raglan long sleeve top. Uh, they're pretty much the same style shirt, different designs, and slightly different colorways. On the hourglass one, we have a purple, orange, and black. Halloween vibes over there. Then we got the dog raglan long sleeve top dropping in what looks like to be kind of like spring color vibes almost. Kind of depressing spring color vibes. A nice mustard, a baby back blue, and 
baby back ribs would hit right now. And a black colorway as well. Uh, Supreme going down the sleeves. Uh, not much resale on these, but retail is expected to be around $70 per design. Uh, so resale, you could probably see maybe around 98 to 100 bucks, but that's the max, depending on if you get a smaller XL, even though I don't expect those to do well at all either. Uh, then we're going to go into the Twill Varsity jacket, dropping in two different colors. We've had some fire, fire jackets coming from Supreme lately, and then they had to hit us with this. I mean, it was in the lookbook. We knew it was going to be dropping, but like, this is just a complete whack, whack, whack jacket. Uh, looks basic as hell. Looks like you literally find this from the sample shop and you get a blank varsity jacket. It's exactly what it looks like. The only printing you have is on the back end, which you guys might or may not see. It just has Supreme on the back of it. Uh, estimated retail is $248. An easy pass on my end. Should be for you as well, unless you're copping for the body. But at the end of the day, there's so many better varsity jackets out there, like the Gulf of the Floor ones. Hits. The, with the uh, with Tyler the Creator, that one goes hard. Uh, you have the MLB jacket that goes hard, which we do have. If you guys checked out the unboxing, you guys saw that review. Uh, it just it's definitely not the best way to spend your money, but you know I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. Uh, then we go into the over dyed hooded sweatshirt and the sweat shorts. Also, we're supposed to well rumored to be releasing two weeks ago. They're dropping this week now. We have a nice little duck camo print in what looks to be a black duck camo as well as a typical army green camo print. And then we also got nice baby blue, navy, yellow, and orange. Kind of unusual color race for Supreme to be releasing. Uh, the hooded sweatshirt could have some hype to it, especially in the, once again, the camo color race. Sweatshorts, not so much. Even though it is summer, uh, these pants really don't got anyone talking. The shorts, I should say, not pants. Uh, they're over dyed. It's kind of basic. Nothing too complex with them. Maybe once again, the camo ones might do well just because it's a... Uh Camel color tends to do well in a lot of different pieces, especially bags, but clothing wise, it kind of does remind people of the box logo that they did drop. <sighs> How long ago? I want to say more than a few years ago, uh, but estimated retail on the sweatshirt right here is 158 US dollars on the sweat shorts is expected to be 128 US dollars. And then also matching the actual sweatpants, not the sweatpants, but the belted pants that we talked before, we do have the Liberty floral six panel. Now this is a six panel. This is like the top four item of the week. We're kind of going out of place, uh, but there's three different colorways here. Once again, the same exact designs. Uh, Supreme Old English cursive font on the front of the dome. Uh, we have a nice black and white, an orange and reddish, which looks like that's the real picture they took and they added effects to the rest of them. Uh, if you're going to go for any colorway out of these three hats, I would personally focus on the red flower one. The center one, you guys can see this image right here. Estimated retail is $56. I can see resale going around maybe $80, $90 at the most. Could it once again be limited? These all over prints are typically limited at the end of the day. Uh, three different colorways, you only have one option per each style. So expect stock to once again not. I can see it's probably selling out within a few minutes or so. Uh, just how compare it once again to the bandana chino pants. People slept on them, didn't really pay attention to them, and uh, ended up going for a good amount of money. I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking about that pant those pants all the damn time. That's a perfect item. That's a that's the definition of a slept on item. If you guys are wondering what I always talk about, slept on item, that's a slept on item. Kind of common sense, but if you, common sense isn't so common, by the way. If you if you were curious. Uh then we go into the world famous zip up hooded sweatshirt. Definitely not an item to really go for, but I did want to talk about it because the back graphic is actually pretty cool. It does catch my eye. Uh, natural colorway is featured on this one as well. Very similar colorways again to the cutout box logo that did drop last week. Which, by the way, yo, undercutters, what are you doing? Why are you undercutting on this item? Come on, it's a box logo going for under, under $300. Unheard of, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but this hoodie sweatshirt, um, if you're going to go for the flip life, I would focus on maybe the natural colorway. Uh, maybe even black and red, but I don't see any profit coming out of this one. Estimated retail is just around $158, $168. Just around that ballpark. And remember, any order over $150 is absolutely free shipping. Just an FYI. So this item would most likely qualify for that. Uh, then we're going to talk into the second i guess most hyped collaboration dropping this week week which is with barber oh we got a lightweight wax cotton field jacket dropping three different colorways a black orange and a nice little cheetah print this collaboration i want to say leaked out before the season even started like in the early i think around like christmas time just around there this collaboration did leak out was maybe coming out ss uh 19 ss or no fall winter 19 or ss 20 it's got it's coming out this week. That's why we're talking about it. Uh, but they did leak this official images. It already came out, I want to say, during the magazine release. Uh, but three different colors coming on this jacket. A little bit Supreme branding. Only item I could expect to possibly do well is the cheetah print jacket. Uh, but retail, I expect to be around 288 US dollars. 
Matching that whole entire collection, we do have the wa waxed cotton crusher uh, retailing for approximately, I do want to say just around 68 to 58 US dollars. Three different colorways, matching it once again. I would focus on the cheetah print. The orange and black look a little bit too basic. Looks like something they've done before. Cheetah print is not so common anymore from Supreme. So focus on that. Uh, expect small and me small, medium and large and XL sized hats for this bucket crusher to be releasing. Uh, then we go into the Barbara Wax Cotton Waste Bag. Now this waste bag could do pretty well in a cheetah print mainly just because you know it does appeal to the female audience out there retail is expected though although be around 108 to 98 us dollars so that high retail does drive away a lot of the profit that could have been made but i do want to say supreme has been holding pretty steadily on retail prices i would expect them to raise retail prices on a lot of pieces gradually like babe did but as of right now it looks like they're not really focusing on raising prices on anybody which also would come at a bad timing for a lot of people because of the pandemic, uh, but luckily they're not doing it just that way. Uh, now we're going to head on to the two most hype pieces. I mean, three. We'll go on to three most hype pieces of this week, which is the Supreme Barber Wax Con Camp Cap. Uh, this is, once again, same design dropping as the rest of the collection. Three different colorways. We got a cheetah print, an orange, and a black. Orange and black look very basic. Yeah, however, it is a, a curved brim hat, and Supreme doesn't drop a lot of box logo curved brim hats. Keep that in mind. Might have a lot, a lot of people interested, especially the cheetah print. I would focus on cheetah print if you're going to go for anything. Uh, estimate retail is $60 on this one, $54 to $60. Resale could go around just around $90 to $100, especially in the cheetah print. Focus on that. The red box logo does pop really, really well. Next, we're going to go straight up into the waterproof lighter case keychain. My favorite item dropping this week besides the bike, but let's be realistic here. This lighter is my favorite. Three different colorways. I mean, two different colorways. We've got a red and a black. A lighter is included. It is collaboration with Bic. However, keep in mind, the actual lighter itself does not have Supreme branding on it, but the case does. It's a waterproof lighter case. It has a latch on top of it. Thus, click close. Supreme branding on it is ideal. You couldn't ask for better branding at the end of the day. Uh, estimated retail on this is around 24 US dollars. Resale I could go see going around maybe 60 to 50 bucks. Keep in mind though, the high quality Zippos don't even go for that much anymore. Like retail on them is simply around like 54, 60, they go from 90 to 100 bucks. So this one, it is cheaper quality. So you do have more of a clientele to go around because remember people who buy lighters, stoners, yo, what's up? and they lose stuff all the time so they're not going to buy an expensive ass lighter that they lose this is a great case they can reuse it doesn't run out and it does have multiple purpose also very economic very economically friendly uh once again profit around maybe 30 to 40 dollars per item per per keychain it's only gonna be one per person at the end of the day one color so you got to choose and now ladies and gentlemen we got the supreme and Co supreme with s and m 1995 bmx dirt bike they released a video today. They released official images today. They released official confirmed confirmed retail, which is $1,898. Their official wording is TIG welted 4,130 CRMO alloy steel, S&M frame and fork with 20 inch wheels, feature original 1995 S&M construction and geometry, uh, 30 pounds it weighs. It is redneck stem with engraved logo and chainsaw sprocket sprockets. Never knew that was a word. Made in the USA exclusively for Supreme. So the details. Resale, I expect to go easy, 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 easy. Five thousand US dollars. Uh, maybe steady around six point five six. What I'm hearing right now, there's only around seventy five made that are made produced in total. And typically, if we see anything released in that small quantity, it does remain FNF. Uh, they posted the same exact stuff. So for the, remember the Supreme Honda dirt bike, they dropped last season. They posted a video for it. They posted a, f a picture just like this. They confirmed retail price just like this. And it never released to the public it was FNF only. I, my boy was number what, two or three in, in line. Nilch, nothing, zero, no bike mentioned. They looked at him like he was stupid when he asked for the dirt bike. Kind of messed up to me, but remember there's no in, in store release at all only online this week going again with the pandemic that's going on if you can get your hands on this i think it's a great hold piece but remember the longer you hold the harder it's gonna be to find a clientele but yeah the official word right now is 70 units produced 75 units produced right around there uh fnf only is looking like it's gonna be fnf only two thousand dollar retail just about uh, you're gonna have to know someone to get your hands on this piece expect some cool ass video to come I mean, cool ass video did already come out from supreme but yeah, it's just another item we can't touch. 
maybe, maybe we might even have a review for you guys because uh, maybe here or there we might have someone who has an item like this and hopefully we might end up getting a review for you guys. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel for that. But if it does end up releasing, we'll know about it. And if it does release, it would be US exclusive but not released in the EU. Made in the USA, typically items made in the USA don't release overseas. So that's it for your boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck this week. Main item is the bike. Of course, if you can't touch the bike, I'd focus on the lighter and the hat. Great item, great profit to be made there regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.